I wanted to show you an inexpensive way to make some uh, hard cases for your optics. Um, you know, Pelican cases are very expensive. Even even the Apache cases that they sell at Harbor Freight aren't cheap. So what I've done for some of my optics is I've made these uh, hard cases out of four inch PVC. And I just happen to have some four inch PVC, a stick of it or, or part of a stick laying around. So I've made this one years ago. And um, today I'm just making some more for some of my other optics. And it's not hard to do. Uh, a little bit of PVC, some spray paint, some strapping, which I get mine off, you know, if I got an old pack or something, uh, uh, before I throw it away, I strip everything off of it. That's why I have a, a box of strapping. I have a box of, you know, Fastex buckles because I, I strip everything before I throw it away. So that and a couple of nuts and bolts, and you can pr make a pretty good um, redneck hard case for your optics. So I cut the uh, four inch pipe down to whatever size I'm going to end up needing for whatever you know the optic is. And then the next thing uh, I glue the one of the bottom on. I glue one one end. Um, and that's going to be the only end that you actually glue. And then I just clean it up real good and spray paint it. So for the straps for each one of these uh, optic boxes, I just went rooting around through my strap box and my buckle box. And I actually have a strap box and a plastic buckle box. And these are just extra pieces that I had. And... Um, this thing's going to end up costing me nothing. Well, actually, I think I'm going to have to buy two of these caps. But other than that, it's going to cost me nothing because it's just stuff that I had laying around and a little bit of work on a Saturday. Some of the straps and buckles work uh, without having to do anything to them. And some of them I have to do some stuff. I just grabbed my speedy stitcher out of my sewing kit here. And um, sewed that strap up really quick. Um, it just pays to have this stuff, folks. And uh, back before all this military gear, the crazy tactical gear that, that's out now came out, I used to make my own gear. So, um, you know, it's it's not pretty. It's, Franken, it's Franken stitches, but it's not going to come out. So after they're painted, and you don't have to paint them, but I like to, then you drill holes for your screws. And... You can go buy screws just for this. I'm just using the screws that I have left over from other old jobs. And I just drill the holes as, as large as I have to to be able to use the screws I'm using. And then you figure your your placement and drill the holes. And I like to leave some slack. And you can see it best over here. So that I can grab and use the strap as a handhold as a carry um, they're not so big you can't just grab them but it's nice to have something you can grab and and carry so i want to leave a little bit of leeway a little bit of a uh, strap so that i'll be able to carry it and still be able to buckle them i keep an old soldering iron just for putting holes and strapping it's just a, a one i got for a dollar at a thrift store and it does a great job uh, it makes a nice hole, nice round hole, seals it real good, burns it, uh, melts it to a seal. Just a great thing to have. So we get the uh, straps put on, and you're probably going to end up having to have one of these right angle screwdrivers to be able to get into uh, the inside of the case and hold that screw tight, unless you go with a different type of machine screws and, and you can grab them with pliers or something. I had a pan head on mine so I needed to use that. Now something I tried just because I was uh, using a different type of strap and I kinda like is instead of wrapping the strap around this time I just went with two straps and you know what once I get those uh, things tightened up I think that's gonna be a pretty neat way to go itself. So that just illustrates there's all, way, all kinds of ways to do this. This is DIY redneck stuff. And, um, you know, just the fun of it is doing it without spending much money and having a fairly decent piece of gear when you're done.
Now what follows here is a cautionary tale. I was bragging earlier about using just what I had on hand and not having to go buy anything. Um, don't be like me. Go and buy the proper size uh, bolts because now I've got to cut these off. And if you do use too long bolts, do not, I repeat, do not use a Dremel tool or, or a, a grinder to or a cutting wheel to cut them off because that heat and just the short time that you're cutting that off will be transferred to the PVC and it won't be pretty. Just trust me on that. Instead, if you are a fool like me, use a, that was a chicken jumping out of the tub. Don't know why. Instead, if you are a fool like me, use a, one of these uh, bolt cutters and just cut the thing and then use a file to clean it up so that you, uh, you don't snag yourself on it. Live and learn. So once you've got everything else done, the last thing you need to do is get some foam in there for padding. And you can see I've already done that end. And just, this is some extra foam that we had laying around from some other project. I mostly like to pad the ends and then uh, with, with something thick and then I'll go in and do something thinner with the um, with the sides but um, make sure that when you are measuring for your optic case that you figure in that you're going to pad the ends so I just used some regular old packing uh, material that you can get at Walmart I just happen to have it here like I said I'm not buying anything it's all stuff I had around and um, you know it, it looks pretty white trash but it'll work now for this scope I actually because I know the scope I've actually opted to go with two of these um, I think it'll hold my scope better and of course each end has padding so there you go they're not pretty um, they're not going to get you admiring glances at the at the deer lease but they will do the job. Uh, I wouldn't put them in the hands of TSA or anything like that, but for the most part, your optics will be safe in here and you can transport them to that hunt a couple states away or like I said, to the deer lease or just uh, keep them in storage, uh, you know, in, in a foot locker or in a tub and know that they're gonna be secure from bumps and, and uh, abuse. And like I said, costs next to nothing. Hey, thanks for watching.